So you might be wondering what next? What do we do from the painting? How do we turn the painting into a space? So in this video, I'm gonna break down my childhood memory and then from that memory, how can I translate that into an actual space? So in my painting, the start of the journey, cold, hard floor, cobblestones, I probably hear reverberations of my footsteps. And one thing that you might notice as well is the black peripheral vision in my painting. So that linear path was the only thing that I could remember. That was probably the only thing that was lit. So what I could do in my space that's up, um, that I will start to break down is what are my peripheral visions? Like I would want to make it dark with a sort of light at the end of the tunnel kind of effect. So how can I curate this process of walking, hearing my footsteps in a cold place and then opening up to a vast environment or for me, in my memory, that was strawberry tea. Or opening up into a warm and cozy place. Opening up to new experience. Or maybe flavors as well. So this is the image that I have chosen. So let's get the tracing paper out and start analyzing the architectural qualities from this image. clean clean lines and you just sort of see the raw brutal look of the concrete stained by the pond with lilies just covering up the whole place with flowers sprouting out you can just see the texture of the really imperfect concrete and you can see the lines this part being a bit shaded as well slightly dirty over there and just basically you can see the weathering of the concrete as as you would when it rains just see how dirty and imperfect it is and let's not forget the shadows the shadow that is casted so directly that darkens this whole bit Next step is basically needing to identify what are the adjacent spaces around these images. And for number 24, I feel like I can can already see more simplistic lines and maybe an opening for going into the house with loads of plants just right next to a concrete pathway that I can see, plain walls, Literally just another walkway to another garden. Yep, so that I can sort of envision just black and greens. Greens. That's it. So in this case, the image that was given to me felt like a memorial. The walls, the greens, just very mellow, very calm, very serene. And um, it's just a place where you go and reflect and think about life. <laughs> yeah, think about life. Um, and at the end of it, maybe I would add in a tea house or a cafe where You've just been through all of those emotions after you walk through the site that cold, you end up in a warm and cozy place to sort of process everything, sort of just sit down and be at peace. 